want to begin by creating the wound first and this is going to allow it enough time to dry. I am applying a light layer of liquid latex over my cheek area where I want the wound to be and this is going to act as your glue. You will be creating the outline of the wound by rolling up a thin piece of tissue paper and placing it over the latex. And you can just adjust this to how big you want the wound to be or how small you want it to be, but I recommend you do this quickly since the latex will dry. Afterwards, you're just gonna place another layer of latex over that tissue paper in order to seal it. And you wanna make sure that you put it also on the outside of the wound so that it blends in better into your skin. Now we're gonna let the fake wound dry and we're just going to move on to the makeup. I am first applying a layer of white cream makeup onto my face. And you may want to add a little bit of moisturizer in with this so that it blends in easier and there's no streaks. You also want to be very careful when blending it into your wound. Now I'm applying a base on my eyelid and it is just a burgundy color and this is going to add that very sunken in dead look to you. You also want to apply that burgundy eyeshadow base underneath your eyes and this is going to do the exact opposite of a concealer and it's going to make you look very tired and dead like. I'm gonna eat you. Now we are moving on to our lovely eye makeup. I'm first taking this dark purple color and I'm applying this all over my eyelid for that zombie look. <laughs> on any other day, you'd probably want to stay away from red eyeshadows, but not on zombie days. This zombie sure hates her sleep, so we're going to be applying a red eyeshadow into your crease, and this is going to make you look even worse, which you'd probably want as a zombie, because they don't like looking pretty at all, ever, never. To make you look even worse, I know you guys probably didn't even think that was possible, but it is. You want to apply a dark eyeshadow into your crease and outer corner. Now we are blending out all of the colors, especially the red, in order to create a more naturally zombie-like look. Now you want to apply a white eyeshadow underneath your eyebrows to match the rest of your horrible decaying body. Now pick up the most ugly burgundy color that you could ever find and apply it underneath your eyes. Don't you just love this look? <laughs> now go ahead and pick up the most beautiful bruised color that you can find and line your lower lash line with this. <sighs> I wish I could look this beautiful. <laughs> Have you ever had that desire to just eat somebody? Oh, we're all friends here, you don't have to deny it. Well, in order to achieve that look, you want to apply a black eyeliner onto your waterline. Moving on to our wound, you want to apply a black eyeshadow inside the edges of your wound and also blend it inside the middle in order to create a more real effect. Now for the inside of your wound, you want to create a mixture of red lipstick and petroleum jelly in order to create real looking clumps of blood. Now it is time for my favorite part, the blood. Using some fake blood, you want to make sure to blend in your wound with the rest of your face and take your time with this part, make a few drops, blend it in using your finger because this is going to be the part that makes it look the most realistic. You know, it's usual for a zombie to eat a few people here and there, so add a little bit of drops of blood uh, around your mouth, on your cheeks, on your forehead, pretty much everywhere that a zombie would probably get squirted blood on if he was eating a terrible victim that was screaming his head off. You know, the usual. In order to create those horrible, dry and cracked zombie lips, you want to apply a black jumbo stick inside your lips and blend it out using your finger. Now the very last step is to add your zombie teeth and they're absolutely gorgeous. I mean, they're yellow and they have a bunch of blood on them. Just amazing zombiness. It seems like this zombie really doesn't like to be on camera at all. 
as a zombie, you have to be quick and on the go so that you can eat all those people's heads off and move on to the next one. So in order to create that look for your hair, you want to tease it, and it doesn't really matter if it's straight or curly. Either way work. All right, so now we are all done with our prom zombie. Poor girl, she would have made such a beautiful queen, don't you think? <laughs> So like most zombies, this one doesn't really like the light, but can we just agree how beautiful her dress is? I mean, the splattered blood is just such an amazing addition, and the great tool makes it just look so dirty and just wonderful. Yeah.